Good morning guys. It's almost 6 a.m. and I'm about to head to the gym. I'm gonna do a quick gym outfit of the day. Sports bra is super old from Lululemon. I don't even know what this is called. It's like a two-piece. It has like a mesh lining. I love the sports bra. I wish so badly that they would come out with this style again because I would buy it again in like multiple colors. Um, but they don't have it anymore. And then these are from Amazon. They're actually my favorite pair of leggings right now. I bought them in several different colors because they're just so comfortable and they're squat proof and they're super stretchy. And my shoes are actually also from Amazon. I just wanted a pair of white sneakers and I didn't feel like paying for a name brand. So I got these cheap ones, but they actually look pretty cute. Heading to the gym, eating my morning banana. It's still dark outside, but it's seven o'clock and here are my stats. 224 active, 281 total. Workout was 47 minutes. Okay, don't mind the disaster that's behind me. It's a little messy back there. But I wanted to show you guys my work outfit of the day. This long sleeve knit crop top is actually from Forever 21 from a long time ago. So I don't think I'll be able to link it. These black pants are from H&M. They're just like dress slacks and they kind of only go to the ankle. They're really cute. And my heels are from Target. And then I want to show you guys my jewelry. Majory is one of my favorite brands to buy jewelry from because all of their jewelry is really good quality so it doesn't tarnish whenever you get it wet. Literally lasts forever if you buy the good stuff so it's always worth the money. I'm going to link these pieces in the description. The first thing is this gold necklace. It's solid gold and when I tell you I've worn this thing everywhere. You guys have seen this one before because I bought it with my own money. These two pieces do come separately. This is just a little charm and then you buy the chain separately. But you guys haven't seen it in a while because I broke the chain on my honeymoon so when they reached out and wanted to gift me a couple of things I was so happy because this is one of my favorite necklaces and you can wear it in the water to shower I mean I used to wear it all the time sleep in it and just never take it off so I love this necklace the other thing I just got are these two stackable rings how cute are these you guys again with the quality I love them I'm gonna link them in the description and then lastly are these little studded diamond earrings that are just really cute in my second holes. So thank you so much to Majory. I'm such a fan of them, so to actually get gifted something is pretty freaking awesome. Got my iced espresso. I would have absolutely made this at home, but time was taken. And it was actually faster for me to mobile order and then just run in there and grab it. It's about 10 a.m. now, which is usually when I decide to have a snack. So I had Chad pick up these peanut butter bars for me. They are like packed with protein. Um, 17 grams of protein, it's crazy. The ingredients are like super clean. I see these all the time at Starbucks, but I've never actually gotten one. So we're gonna taste test. This is amazing. It just tastes like straight peanut butter. Like if there was peanut butter hardened into a bar, just tastes like peanut butter. It's definitely very plain, which Chad told me, but I like it. So here's a little overview of some of the tasks that I'm working on today. Um, I'm gonna be doing video editing later. At, at two o'clock, we're gonna be recording some video footage for social media. I have to write a case study blog article on one of the consulting sessions for an app that they are developing. And then in the background of everything right now, I'm working on building out a WordPress site for a blog. It's gonna be a hub for all of the information. I talked about this a little bit in my last video. But right now, primary task is to work on planning out the content for the videos that we're going to be recording. So I just created this on Google Docs and I'm just going to start planning out the different videos. We're going to try to film as much as we can in an hour and a half um, at two o'clock. So yeah, I'm just planning out these. I'm just going to be typing up what the visual is going to look like. And then for script and audio, these are going to be mostly short form. We might do a few for YouTube as well.
it's lunchtime now and I'm just eating some pasta salad that I got from Publix. It's my favorite thing ever. Actually, Chad got it for me. It's just like the ideal lunch and water. I don't even know where the day went. I was so busy at work and then I came home and I was on the phone for like an hour and a half with Natalia who it was so good to catch up with if you're watching this. I miss you so much. And then I went on TikTok and now it's 10 o'clock. Like, <laughs> where did the day go? If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you might not know, but Chad got me a Kindle for my birthday and it was the greatest gift of all because I'm gonna read so much now. I have such a long list of books that I wanna read, so I'm really excited about that. But this has been my night routine. I read a little bit on my Kindle. I almost fall asleep with the Kindle in my hand and then I turn it off, put it on the night table, and fall asleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's 10.30 the next day, obviously. I've been at work for an hour and a half almost. It feels like way longer, though, so I guess that's how the day's going. But I didn't go to the gym this morning like I should have. But at the same time, I'm giving myself a break. I kind of feel like I like to take a day off, so I might just switch it to because like I try to go three or four times a week so I might just start doing every other day that way I give myself a break in between because that would probably be more realistic for me right now but I'm only in office for half a day today the other half I'm working from home because I have a doctor's appointment at 12:40, just a routine appointment and so I just figured I'll work from home the rest of the day but I'm just working on it, building out the WordPress website right now and all that stuff. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't quite know the direction we're going with it yet. So I don't want to say one thing and then we end up doing another. Much later now, I went to my doctor's appointment and I'm back home now working from home for the rest of the day. My eyes were bothering me so bad, so I put my glasses on and took my contacts out. I think it's because like the season's changing and everything. I always get really bad allergies. Like my nose has already been runny for like the last few weeks, but now my eyes are starting to bother me really bad. So here I am with my glasses. We started dinner in the crock pot. We're having our Asian sesame chicken for dinner tonight. And I'm about to make a chai tea latte before I get back to work. I had some leftovers for lunch and I need some kind of little pick me up. This sounds really good. We are having dinner. This is the yummy Asian sesame crock pot chicken and broccoli. I don't know why I just touched it with my finger. How good does this broccoli look though? <laughs> it's 7.45. I woke up this morning and I was like, I want Chick-fil-A now. And so we're in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. I was supposed to wake up and go to the gym. Didn't go. I kept snoozing. You didn't go either. What's your excuse? Oh, where's the plant guy going this morning? <laughs> Do you guys like Chad's stash? He got a mustache. He's um, doing No Shave November. It's like something the firemen do, I guess. Or other people do that, I don't know. Yeah, other people do it too. Really wanted this. I have an orthodontist appointment at 9.30 that I almost forgot about. Um, I'm working from home today, so that's fine. But yeah, so I have to like go home and get ready for my orthodontist appointment after this. I'm getting attachments put on today too. So they say, they've told me that the last few times and then like kept delaying it, but I think I'm getting them put on this time. We are back home. I'm gonna share my Chick-fil-A order, if anyone cares. Normally I get the original iced coffee, but they gave me the mocha this time. So it's a little sweeter, but that's okay. And then for my breakfast, oops, I get the little hash brown and the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits breakfast sandwich is the most amazing thing. Sometimes I get chicken minis, but lately I always get this. I used to get chicken minis every time, and then I like discovered this, and I was like, nope, never going back. 
I went to go take my phone out of my phone case really quick because I got some new ones sent to me by Burgo, which I was gonna show you guys when I got home. They came in last night. Really, really cute phone cases, by the way, but I'll talk about that later. But I pulled my phone case off of my phone, you know, my old one, and um, my entire phone shattered, you guys. And I have no idea when this happened because it's been in a case for a long time. I'm a little upset right now because I've never cracked a phone like since I had like the all glass iPhone 4 or something like that's literally the last time I've cracked a phone and I upgrade every single year and this was the one year I told myself I'm not going to upgrade this year I didn't feel like it was a big enough difference from the 13 to the 14 so I was like I'm just gonna you know be reasonable and actually keep my phone for an extra year but I also do the trade-in program I can't trade my phone in and get a new one when it's cracked so I'm gonna have to figure something out but <laughs> at least it still works okay i'm gonna go to my orthodontist appointment i might be coming out with little uh attachments on my teeth all done and i got my next several sets of trays i'm doing these ones for two weeks at a time you guys might be able to actually yeah you can see it see the little ticks these little things that's what um is gonna help like move my teeth but as you guys can see they're really straight we're in the final months which is exciting it's almost six now i'm finished work for the day and i got a little spike of energy so i thought i would go to the gym and do a little bit of cardio so i'm thinking maybe like 30 minutes on the stair stepper or something but i'll just be happy to do something but what inspired me to actually go was i just got a package in from carbon 38 and i want to show you guys what i got they have some of the cutest athletic wear and i swear they take the best parts of the other brands that i love like these are so sleek they are super smooth and seamless and then the top i actually really love so much as well because it's very supportive i'm a little bigger up top and although i don't always do cardio days i still like to feel like i'm held in you know and this one is really cute and comfortable and it crisscrosses in the back i also picked out this jacket that i am quite literally obsessed with you guys have you ever seen a cuter jacket when i picked it out i thought it was like more of a rain jacket but it's actually like kind of heavy so this is going to be good for the few cold days a year that we get in florida but i love it it has like this layered look and then like these little hand things i love all of the buttons and the zippers and just like the white with the gray accents. Okay, and the last thing are these flare pants. And when I tell you these are the most comfortable pair of pants I've ever owned in my life, they are legging material. Very, very flattering and also just really, really comfortable for like lounging, but I would totally wear these out. So shout out to Carbon 38 because I honestly didn't know about them and they were a breakthrough discovery for me because these pieces are such high quality. And like I said, it's just like my favorite parts from like Gymshark, Lululemon, and like Airy combined. They're awesome. Back from the gym, I'm about to jump in the shower and I'm gonna do this Pharmacy Beauty Brightening Face Mask. I got this a while back and I still haven't used it. So I thought, why not? And Chad is making dinner, so we're gonna eat soon. I can't see it because I put so much um, Parmesan cheese on it. But yes, it's um, chicken pesto. Wait, what? It's chicken sausage with pesto and tortellini i'm in bed for the night now i'm about to start reading i'm reading the perfect marriage right now and i finished verity and i can honestly say that was probably the best book that i've ever read in my life which i know is a really big statement but i haven't felt so interested in a book in a really long time and i think that might be like the best book so i think that's like the genre that i really want to stick to because it's just what i really like it was like a page turner like mystery thriller i think i prefer less of the romance actually and more of like the um mystery like um psychological thriller sort of style versus more of the romance which colleen hoover has in her books um, I mean, like, I don't mind a little bit of romance, but, like, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I feel like sometimes, and it is the same author, so you would kind of expect this, but, like, I feel like the main characters and their passion and love for, like, this particular type of man, like, it always comes off the same because I've read so many of her books at this point. So I'm trying to explore some other authors now. Um, so this is Geneva Rose, who writes The Perfect Marriage, and it starts off 
kind of wild just within the first like four chapters but I'm already pretty far into it and I really like it um and then I got a couple of other ones because I got Kindle Unlimited but that book is on Amazon Prime but I also got Kindle Unlimited so I did uh add a few other books to my library for after that one oh it's been really good though if you haven't read Verity I'm sure you have by now I feel like it's just so popular but if you haven't highly highly recommend and thank you so much for watching this vlog if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video